Welcome to the 9 Hour Guitar Build Challenge and welcome to the Spindle Sander. This machine is one of the one of the most useful that we have. In fact, I've had this exact machine, this a, a jet spindle sander, since forever. <laughs> oh crikey. I think I bought this machine in 2002? It's had some spare parts, it's had uh, various different bobbins and uh, bits and pieces have been lost over the way, but it is still uh, in, well, daily use. So uh, anyway, at this stage I am looking over my shoulder and waiting for the router table to become available, and uh, while I wait for that I've found the spindle sander and uh, found a job to do. Now I'm taking it down to about 240 grit so the edges of the guitar are uh, as perfect as I can get them before the, the final sanding really. I'm going to assume that you watched the last video where I was talking about the fantastic carol drum sander or drum spindle. Oh my goodness what is that called? Uh, which is uh, pretty awesome because uh, in this case you buy rolls of paper and cut it to fit and it just holds in there with a cam whereas uh, traditional traditional yeah traditional uh, oscillating spindle sanders have uh, you have to buy the sandpaper in tubes and that's a little bit more difficult less flexible Another job that needs to be doing is uh, drilling out the excess material from the neck pocket. Uh, again, this is... We're at an angle, so the neck pocket is going to be routed at, at an angle, but uh, I'm not bothering to change the angle of the table on the pillar drill. Uh, it's just to remove as much material as I can quickly and easily before we route. The trick with force limits is to uh, go as slow as you can and uh, this pillar drill is actually set up a little bit fast I think. Uh, but again, we're in a rush aren't we? Ooh, shaky cam. <laughs> Crikey. My default setting when waiting for things to happen is tidying up. Now it looks like the router table is becoming available and I need to get my template in place. The, the PAF model is generally made on the CNC machine unless it's a master build and uh, this is a problem or a design at least that we haven't had to make by hand yet and uh, that is that our back plates extend over the edge of the guitar and are visible as a sort of fake binding, I suppose, from from the side of the instrument. And it, it's something I absolutely love. It's 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 an idea I had that I'm I'm trying not to sound arrogant and bigging myself up and all that, but by gum I really like it. Uh, anyway, doing it by hand is actually somewhat difficult. Uh, it involves 
going blind on a... That's backwards, Ben. It involves going blind on a router table with a bearing cutter. So, uh, yeah, fun times. Now, I'm only going to use one strip of tape this time after all of the trouble we've had removing the uh, templates so far in this build. It really is a super strong trick. That template looks like you could make a rather interesting avant-garde ergonomic instrument just using that. <laughs> Let's do it. So, that's Christopher cleaning up the router table because, uh, well, that's what we're supposed to do, but, but, what he's just done in the background is turn the hoover off and forget to plug it back, to plug the, the nozzle back into the router. And of course, I don't notice that, so I am about to make ten times more mess than I should, which is just sad, really. So, a little bit earlier, in preparation, I took out a router bit for use, and of course, in the process, I lost the damn thing. It ended up on the floor. Which is just typical, really. Don't forget to turn the lock off, Ben. And pull your pants up, come on. So these routers are great because you can push them straight up through the router table and change the cutters very easily. But you have to have the on-off switch on-off. What a sentence. Uh, otherwise it won't come up. Uh, it's to, it basically means that you can't turn the router on while the spindle is locked off. And uh, obviously the height adjustment has to be unlocked as well so that you can move it. Three flute radiant. Do love those. If any of you have experienced a better router cutter than a three or a four flute cutter, please let me know. Because these are sublime and uh, I'm very interested. Okay, that groan of pain is me thinking I'm being silly. And realising I've been silly. I'm going back again. No, that's the wrong router cutter. And therefore the wrong collet, maybe. And when I get here... There's more, more groans of... Of disappointment in myself. That's that's some hard thinking. And then I realise I'm an idiot. I need coffee. And that I need coffee. And that I had the original. <laughs> that the. It's all upside down to me. Yeah, well, you're upside down to me right now. The the original router cutter was actually correct. For a second I thought that I needed to have a bearing on the top rather than the bottom. And uh, yes, so. coffee. I think. Do you think? Yes, that's right. So, set the bearing up to run on the uh, template rough out the depth 
we want to take away a little bit of material in the final sanding from the from the back plate. Now, basically, this means that I'm holding an unsupported section of wood directly over a router cutter that I can't see. And it is slightly, slightly dangerous, shall we say. Uh, mainly because of tear out and because you can't see the whole point in well one of the most important rules when using a router is to take small passes but when you can't see what you're doing uh, and you're time constrained and therefore taking a full depth cut like this it is uh, yeah interesting like that whoops <laughs> you can say that again At this point, I'm using the sound of the router cutter to judge how much I'm taking off. and fighting the urge to blow the dust off the screen. With all of these cameras down at the same level as the guitar, I was also starting to worry about the safety of the camera person. Gum that wood is gorgeous. So the template allowed me to keep it nice and flat. I've got uh, two hands. Scary, 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 scary. Come on. Yeah, the first time round was uh, successful, so let's take a little bit more material off, Ben. Yikes. Okay. Uh, yeah, so I'm basically acting as a cantilever or a weight on the back end of the guitar. And uh, that's uh, working out. Working out all right.
That was stressful. And here I find why I've made such a mess. Oh, typical. Here's a tip everyone, for your workshop vacuum cleaners, always get HEPA filters for them. Uh, cut down the dust. There we go. So there's basically no, well, there is no lateral movement uh, if you've done the masking tape super glue trick properly, but it pulls off um, with horizontal force quite easily. And we have some cavities. Awesome. Because of the carve and because of the angle, there's a lot less... There's a much smaller flat spot here. And, basically, this is wishful thinking. Well, it's worth a try. Nah. Nah, not good enough. Nah, I didn't think so. Nah. Trust yourself next time. That was... That was uh, wishful thinking, that was. That's what I just said. Oh, and I'll glue it to myself. Don't glue it to yourself. Disgusting, really. <laughs> no, that's the wrong way around. That's gonna get in your way. Yeah, it's a little bit better. There is something to be said for a jig that will hold a guitar body down. Fun with clamps. Moving things around. Oh, there we go. Yeah, there we go. Um, there's something to be said for a jig that will hold a body down. I would strongly suggest you go on the other side. From a safety point of view. This is not going to take long. Go on then. <laughs> Hearing protection. It's only when the noise starts that you realise you don't have the uh, headphones off. Ear defenders. You got that one wrong. 
So I'm sitting here doing a voiceover and uh, thinking about work holding jigs that would be uh, suitable for a multitude of different styles and make this whole clamping process easier. Anyway, so this body blank was not planed uh, or put through the felder particularly well it wasn't at all in fact it was raw as I bought it but it had some tear out due to the uh, fantastic figuring and uh, well this carving is going to make the guitar more comfortable but it is also to get rid of that tear out in the end with this carving technique Let's make that uh, neck joint even more comfortable. With this carving technique, it takes less time to create a carved back guitar than it does to put it over a thicknesser or planer uh, to get rid of that sort of defect. Oh. Dramatic pause. Dramatic look. Eyebrows. <laughs> Strap the pause. I need to stop talking to myself. Oh. <laughs> oh yes, oh scary. There's a slight discoloration here, you probably can't even see it. That made me think I'd gone through to the pickup cavity, whereas in reality I've got about 15 mil. But for a fraction of a second there I thought I had totally, totally, totally screwed this up. Totally dude. Totally. Uh, yeah. That, that was properly scary. It doesn't even line up. Where the pickup cavity is is about a, an inch t closer to the neck than where that discoloration is in the back. But the fear was real. Those things look so scary. I've gone through so many angle grinders in the last 10 years. And it's back onto the Merca with a coarse 80 grit on it, although relatively old 80 grit disc. This is the second stage of carving. Next time I do something like this, you'll see a downdraft table here.
and it fits my not inconsiderate belly rather well. That's still warm. <laughs> All right. Show me the end of it. You can't really see what he was trying to see there. It's got to be comfy. All right. Now. The back plates have only roughly been carved out. That. Uh, or shaped on the bandsaw. That really needs... Really needs a disc sander in here. A machine I don't have yet. Yeah, forget it. All right. Let's go and get a slightly less dusty area. You guys keep on focusing on the names of the of the of the fighting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. nice what logos? Yeah. I'm seriously worried about people thinking that this is a, a um, Triton has not been paid. Triton has not been paid. We haven't been paid. Um, this this is and is entirely about this logo. Can you see? Unfortunately, no. <laughs> but there's a big one upstairs. <laughs> there's a big one upstairs. Here you go. Yeah, we got it. Go on in upstairs. This is a, this is this is a different view. Don't don't fall over. No, I was all out of focus. <laughs> nah, good. <laughs> Insert funny pop culture reference. Error four four o five. Who wrote that? Error four o four. I don't think four or five is is a is a thing, or it could be. Uh, oh. No. You scared the hell out of me, boy. Yes. Area four or four. What is it? Is it a three hundred when it's a permanent redirect? That's what happens when you've basically stabbed me in the throat, and I'm not here anymore. Um, we're going to have a 30 second break while the camera person de-dusts his camera because that's kind of quite significantly dusty. Um, and I'm going to find, I'm sure I have like a sip of, yes. Before we do that though, what's the time? Four and a half hours. Halfway through. Yeah. Yeah, in 20 seconds it's literally halfway through. Mm. I love the support of my staff, it's just... They can't hear us because he's only on the pal. Yeah. They're saying fail, fail in the background. Luigi judging me. We're 10 minutes in, just had a snack. <clears throat> I'm, and it was a good snack. In fact, I'm talking with my mouth full. So, in all honesty, I'm starting to <laughs> I'm starting to frick it just a little bit.
a disc sander would have made this task a bit easier. But, uh, well, I've had a I've had enough of the noise. Okay, that's For fine. For now. Now this, uh, this grain is not going to match perfectly. Uh, but I have a solution. This is shocked silence. Luthiery is one of the um, few woodworking disciplines where files are used a lot. routing of that uh, was a little bit uneven. Cool beans. What is a cool bean? So in the background you have Phil and Toby recording a tone hinge trial video. Uh, where they're demo demonstrating a pedal or or something. I'm only putting two screws in for now, just to locate them on the guitar, so that uh, so that I can do the uh, final shaping, etc. The end result will have three or four on each backplate. One of the problems with wooden backpacks is uh, the worry of it warping and uh, moving over time. And I've uh, I've tried to make wooden backplates using using magnets to hold them down, and that's problematic, shall we say?
that uh, drill bit is overcompensating for something. Such a clever man. I got dust in the face. Fine. So, that's pretty cool. That one's a little bit. <coughs> Now what I'm doing here, taking the corner down. Oh, what was that? But it's still wobbled a little bit. That's it, use a fine, fine chisel as a scraper. Less wobbling. Yeah, that's all right. So, essentially, take down the excess where the screw head is, so that it could be uh, countersunk properly. And that's fine. And then once the screw is countersunk, I can sand the uh, the back plate down to match, to match the body at least. I really don't think I can do this. Oh, you can do it. James, why did you suggest this? I thought it would be fun. For the lols. I'm trying to blame my poor life choices on James now. I think you should do a number nine inlay. <laughs> I am not doing a custom inlay, Sean. Pussy. He's so rude to me. <laughs> That's the wrong screwdriver. Always use the right screwdriver for the job. Iwasaki file, fantastic. I do have tools that I really don't like, but you just don't see them in these videos because I don't like them. Mmm, scaredy face. Okay, the panic is setting in earlier than it did last when we did the 12 hour guitar build. No. No, I, with the 12 hour build, I was knackered by halfway through, but I wasn't, I still thought I could do it up until the last hour. Uh, yeah. I feel. Where are we? Four hours, 50. Two hours, 10 to go. What? Two glued. <laughs> it stayed glued. That's all good. Um, all right, fine. Oh, if I don't do this, I'm going to be so embarrassed. <sighs> it's going to go on live whether I make it or not. It's going to be a question of uh, just how embarrassed I need to be. 
bats. <laughs> yeah, that would be, uh, yeah, a long ass day. All right, we're done, we're done. Downstairs, downstairs again. Let's do it. Mm, don't need the phone. I'll be there. You're going to change the batteries.